In this video I'm going to talk about the Focus Odin Smart, a brand new 3D printer by Focus. And they are going to put it on Kickstarter. Well, getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and welcome to this video. If you're not familiar with the Closer Look series, well, I'm going through the specs and details and also the appearance from a 3D printer that is going to hit the market any soon. And I'm going to give my comment about this 3D printer. And a little disclaimer, all pictures and videos or other things that you are going to see in this video are from the Focus website. Well, now that is out of the way, let's get into the video. Like you can see on the side from focustech.com the time-lapse video made and shared 99% pre-assembled and six times faster the focus Odin smart 3d printer well this 3d printer does look in various ways on the focus Odin 5 f3 however there are some changes made on this machine it is also called the Odin smart still the same kind of model name but then changed so that it will be a much more and much better improved 3d printer from focus well i'm wondering in which kind of sentence are this printer going to be faster the focus odin 5 i think if you are looking on youtube on maybe on tiktok maybe on twitch many other social media platforms if you are looking into this 3d printer one thing is certain there are a lot of people that are liking this 3d printer myself i have also the focus odin the first odin 5 f3 was a 3d printer and i think i said it earlier on on other videos that focus never used kickstarter for their first 3d printer and i think that was a very big step for a brand new company and also a risky one. They came out of nowhere or maybe it, it was from a startup, other company, something like that. But this 3D printer, this brand came out of nowhere, shipped a 3D printer to many influencers worldwide on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, many. Even I got one of them because of Carl Fenton named me to one of the people working for Focus. So this 3D printer, the Odin Smart, is going to be a little bit different. Why is that? Because this 3D printer is going to be on, believe it or not, Kickstarter. I am not sure why they are using Kickstarter for doing this. It surprises me, there must be a reason behind it, but the whys, I think on the Kickstarter campaign side, once this is going to be released, it's going to be there why they are doing that. 99% pre-assembled, you will take the Z axis gantry you move it, move it like that four screws on each side and then you are good to go why it is foldable i don't know because i never use the foldable feature but i think if you want to store your 3d printer in a working environment then four screws just flip it on the front and then you have a foldable 3d printer i think that is a pretty neat feature six times faster maximum 300 millimeters per second is the print speed not the travel speed sometimes companies advert with 250 millimeters per second but what they actually is saying is that the printer travel speed is that fast sometimes you need to print an infill with 30 percent or support material with 30 percent the focus odin smart is going to print a bigger size bench in one hour and 45 minutes and other brands if i'm looking to this printer i see that it is the coreality ender 3 v2 and it's printing the same benchy in six hours and 26 minutes with a printing speed of 50 millimeters per second i think and very honest if you raise the print speed up to 60 or even 80 millimeters per second i still think you will get a decent print but maybe it's not looking as great as the one from the focus odin smart ultra direct extruder I have no idea what focus means with ultra direct. If I'm looking to the mechanics, it's just the toothed gear attached to the stepper motor and behind it, it's just a wheel. It's not, not double geared, doesn't say it. If I look to the animations, 
it's also not looking like it is a double geared extruder. I think the mechanic is somewhere the same as the Odin 5 F3, but I'm not certain about that because I never took my uh, direct drive apart. But this ultra direct extruder works with TPU, PLA plus and PET G filaments, allowing you to make that perfect print. As you can clearly see on the picture, there is also a camera pointed to where the build plate is or where the nozzle is because the camera is attached to the Z-axis gantry. So when it moves up, you also see what is going to happen. So you can make true time-lapse videos and normal videos and you can also share them on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram. So be a pro producer and create and share your layer by layer videos with your friends. Well, I do like time, time lapse videos, but on all of my printers, I never even had this function available. Or I try to, but it never ha really happened. Self-test user-friendly provide solutions to help eliminate potential issues quickly. Great for beginners. When I'm watching this animation, it goes automatically through a whole checklist. I see print head, hotbed heat, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis move, filament sensor, filament load, all will get a green check and if that is done the print is going to start. It is looking amazing, there is not much if further information on it, I do see a rotary dial on the right hand side. I am curious where that is for. I assume because that screen on the Focus, Focus Odin 5 F3 is a touch screen. I think this screen is also a touch screen. But why is there a rotary knob on the side? Further is no, not much information. but. We can fill in the gaps, right? Watching the speed, knowing that there is a camera, knowing that there are some very cool features, I assume that this printer is also going to be equipped with a MKS um, mainboard, a 32-bit board, silent stepper drivers. I've heard a filament run out sensor or a filament sensor. There's also going to be something like, if you have a filament run out sensor, most likely you also have a power resume function, yellow springs, still bed levelers, bed leveling knobs on the on the bottom. I am very curious, Kickstarter, if you are going to back this Kickstarter campaign, be aware you are pledging for this product, you can lose your money, but knowing focus, this is a company that is going to provide the 3D printers once the campaign is finished. If this printer is going to hit the Kickstarter campaign and I have more information, I will update you guys as well. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. This video is supported by these amazing Patreon supporters, Nonstick and Fixem Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video and supporting this channel as well. You can also become a, a member from this YouTube channel. If you don't want to spend any money on this channel and still want to support, there's a like button. You can smash it. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.